Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the new features that are on FaceTime on iOS 15 and how to use all of these new features. So I am on the iOS 15 public beta and I do have a tutorial for you guys if you want to install the beta for yourself. But do be advised, it is a beta, it does have bugs and glitches still, so just do that at your own discretion. But yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll have that in the eye up top for you guys to go check out if you want to download it for yourself. So iOS 15 is probably going to be coming out around September, October, around there. Usually it's at that time of the year. So this is not yet out, but I just wanted to give this video up for you guys. So when it does come out, it's already there for you guys at your disposal. So yeah, let's go into all the new features on FaceTime on iOS 15. Okay, so here is the FaceTime app. It has a redesign now and I really love the design of it. And also if you have contacted someone frequently, all of their numbers will be here. Everyone who you have contacted in the last like month or so, or just your most contacted people. So every, everyone will be here in the list. But right now I just cleared it for you guys so you can see what it looks like when it's completely fresh and no previous calls were made. Okay, so let's call someone via FaceTime. So I'm going to click on new FaceTime here and then it gives suggested people that you can FaceTime. To use some of these features, the people you are calling need to have also the iOS 15 beta or iOS 15 when it's out. So I'm going to be calling my dad since he also has the beta. So click on that and then just click on FaceTime. So then it's going to start calling and uh, here you can see it's coming through. Let's answer. And uh, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we are now on a FaceTime call with both of these phones. And um, I just want to quickly show you guys like how it works and some of the features that are on here. So uh, I did mute the mics, just don't mind that. That's just for audio purposes for this video. The first thing I want to talk about is portrait mode that is now on FaceTime. So what I'm going to be doing is you're going to swipe down to your control center and then you can see you have these two options here. So you have video effects and then mic mode. But video effects here, you have portrait and you can turn that on. So now you can see it kind of has that portrait mode. It blurs your background and I think that is really nice. And you can easily like be in a busy environment and have that blurred so that it doesn't bother the people that you're FaceTiming with or just if you have like a messy area or something, you can easily just put on portrait mode. So I really love portrait mode that is now on FaceTime. I do feel like I need to tell you guys some of these features won't work on older iPhones. So specifically the microphone features and the portrait mode won't work on older iPhones that don't have the A12 or a later chip. So for instance, this phone here is an iPhone 10. And if I scroll down to control center, you'll see he doesn't have the option for portrait mode or microphone levels because he has a phone with an A11 chip, I believe. So he won't be able to use those features just because the chipset is older and won't work with these features, which is sad, but um, I think it's to be expected, especially because phones that came out with this phone model and earlier don't have the FaceTime camera that enables portrait mode. Um, so yeah, that's something I wanna disclaim for you guys is that not all phones will be able to use these features. Next thing I wanna talk about is all the new mic modes you now have on iOS 15. So you're gonna scroll down again to control center and here you can see mic mode. So let's go in there. And then you have three different options. You have standard, which is just how you would normally go about having a FaceTime call. You have voice isolation, which isolates your voice. So it blocks out any background noise or any noisy background that you do not want. And then wide spectrum actually does the opposite and it includes your background noise and everything. So everything is kind of enhanced. Um, I feel like voice isolation most people use, especially if you're working from home and you don't want like people hearing all the background that's going on. Voice isolation is really cool. So I love these FaceTime features and how it's more inclusive and it just betters the experience overall. So I really, really like these features. Another thing I wanna cover is this option here that says create link. So you can now send a link to a FaceTime call to anyone and they can join in on your FaceTime. So I'm gonna quickly click here on create link. And then you have this thing that pops up. So as you can see, it shows everyone you can send it to. You can copy the link. Um, or you can just airdrop it to people, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to quickly select copy link. 
and then I'm gonna send it to everyone I want to join. Okay, so now I'm in the FaceTime call that I just created with that link. So as you can see, it's still, nobody's here because it's still black. It says waiting for others. So I'm gonna be quickly joining in from the other phones that I sent the link to. So um, as you can see here on my dad's phone, it says FaceTime link and I can select join. Once I've tapped on that, I can again click on join up here. So let's click on join again. And then again, on the person that created the chat, it says Vanner would like to join this call. So I have to approve it myself because I created the um, link for this. So I click on here and just let them in. And then we're just waiting and then it's gonna join the call. So it's very much like Zoom where you have to actually give permission for them to join the call. When I created that link, I sent the link to my dad's phone, but I also sent it to an Android phone. So you can now have Androids join a FaceTime call that's created via a link. So that's really nice and really easy to do. So on the Android phone, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to join via the Android phone. So I have the phone here, and here you can see the FaceTime link came through through WhatsApp. So I'm gonna click on that link, and it's gonna take you to your web browser. It does still say beta since this is still in beta, um, so just don't mind that. And then it says enter your name to join the conversation. So I'm just going to type in my name here and then we can actually join. And then once I did that, it's going to ask me to click on join again on the Android phone here. And then on my iPhone, it's going to say Kayla wants to join this call. So I'm just going to accept that. Okay, and then you can see everyone just joined in on the call. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and go here to our call data. And then here you can see grid layout, click on done. And then it's gonna put everyone in a grid layout. Um, this really does work better when there are more than just three people on a FaceTime call, just to organize it a bit more. So that is how it works when you join in with a link and also join in via an android phone it's really easy you just send the link yeah that's how it works also when you're in a group facetime call like this um, if you have like maybe like five people in the call you also have spatial audio so especially like when you're having headphones on the audio from that person that's talking will come in the direction where they are situated on your screen. So it will sound like it's coming from that direction, which just makes it more distinct, like who's talking at the moment. So that is really nice, the spatial audio that they did include in group FaceTime calls. But okay, now let's actually get to one of my favorite features of all time that they showed or released, and that is SharePlay on your iPhones. So sadly, the Androids won't be able to use this. Okay, so now let's actually look at SharePlay for iOS 15's FaceTime. So this is really cool. So if you know what SharePlay is, you can basically share media such as TV shows, um, movies, music, um, through a FaceTime call or even your screen. And you can show that to the other person on the other side of the call, which is really amazing. And I wish we had this at the beginning of the pandemic, just to keep in touch better and just to share more time with other people that you wouldn't be able to be close to during the pandemic. So let's actually show you guys how this works. So on this iPhone, I'm gonna quickly share my screen. So you just cl click on this option right here, tap on that, select share my screen. And then it's gonna count down from three, two, one. And then it's gonna start sharing my screen. So on this iPhone here, you can see it said that they're starting to share their screen. Um, if you did this for the first time with a person, you're gonna have to click on join their screen sharing. But since we've done this before, it act automatically just sh started sharing my screen. So as you can see here is the screen, but it's a bit blurred right now because this phone is still on the FaceTime app and not in a different app. Okay, so now you can see the screen here. I'm gonna tap on that and then it takes me into full screen mode. So I can clearly see what's going on on this phone in real time. It is a bit glitchy. Our Wi-Fi is not the fastest right now, but um, also this is still in beta, but it's really nice. So I can clearly see what this person wants to show me on their phone really quick and easy. And if you wanna stop sharing your screen, I'm gonna go up here and um, just click on the same button that it did to start sharing your screen, click here, and then it ended sharing my screen. So I'm just gonna go back to my FaceTime call here. Okay, so now I wanna share with you guys how to share movies and TV shows. Just do be advised in the beta, we only have Apple TVs, movies and TV shows available to test this out um, since it's still in beta. 
but on release date, a few more apps will be supported, um, like Disney+, Plus, Hulu, um, just a bunch of other ones. But also, hopefully, in the future, we will have other apps like Netflix and YouTube or Spotify, which are not available at launch, but hopefully in the future they will be. But okay, so let's go ahead and test that out. So in order to enable SharePlay on your phone, you have to go to Settings, scroll down until you find FaceTime, which is here. So beneath all your info and everything, you'll see the option here that says share play and make sure that is enabled. So now I'm gonna go into Apple TV and here you can see share play TV with Vanna. So it's gonna automatically do that since share play is enabled on your phone. I'm gonna go into just something to watch here. Let's go into Ted Lasso. And here, once I tap that, it selects share play. Then you can select share play or start only for me. I'm gonna select share play and it's gonna start share playing. Now on the other iPhone that's also in the FaceTime call, it shares a join share play and you can select open. And then here it says share play, tap on that. And then you can see here, it will start playing my movie that I'm watching. So as you can see, they are in sync. And also say I pause on my dad's phone here. I can see pause, playback, and then it shows who paused the movie, which is really nice. And it also is always in sync. So if I'm watching a movie with someone, if I pause it on my phone, it will pause on the other person's phone. If I fast forward 15 seconds on my phone, it will pause on the other people's phones, however many people are in the group FaceTime call. And also one of the coolest features that are also included with this is smart volume. So what that is, is I can basically talk like when we're watching a movie when i talk it's going to automatically lower the volume so everyone can hear what i'm saying over top of the movie so it automatically adjusts the volume according to if someone's talking or not which is really really cool and just a very intuitive feature that i absolutely love so as you can see you can just chill watching the movie together which i think is really nice so this is not just for movies let's go to music so i can easily go to music app here and then in my playlist i can select a song to listen to so let's select that and then it says share play and i can select who i want to share play if i want to share play or not so i'm going to click on share play here and then it's going to start loading down here so as you can see the song is playing right now and now if i go on the other iphone here it says again join share play i'm going to click on open and it's going to take me to the music app and i'm going to click on share play again and it's going to start loading and start playing that song that i'm playing right now so let's just wait for it to load okay and there the music started playing also another cool thing is in the queue if i have a bunch of songs in the queue here so you can see here are all the songs if i go here and put this song beneath this song, so let's do that. It will automatically change it in the queue for all people who are listening. So now it's underneath that. So again, let's change the order. I can also on, the other person can also do this. And then it changed for this iPhone as well as you saw. So that's all really, really cool, I think. And um, you can even add like, you can just like play songs for each other. So the other person can say, play something from their playlists, things like that. So I absolutely love this feature. And also don't worry if you want to have like people's actual reactions, like facial expressions and everything, you can turn on your camera while share playing. So I'm gonna go here to camera and just turn my camera on. And then the other person can just see when I'm reacting to a song or a movie and you can actually tell each other's facial expressions. So yeah, those are all the features I wanna share with you guys on iOS 15's FaceTime features. Okay, so those are all the features I wanted to share with you guys of FaceTime on iOS 15. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you can now actually use it yourself. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 15 related videos. I have a bunch that is already up and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.